Hello friends, in this video we will talk about Mecturition reflex and the nerve supply of bladder with the applied aspect. So first we will see about the nerve supply of bladder, Mecturition reflex and the applied aspect. So you are seeing here the nerve supply of the bladder. Okay. So we will see the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. See now the red line is uh, um, parasympathetic blue line is the sympathetic. So we are finding the sympathetic coming from S2 to S4 sacral segments. Okay. Also we are seeing a branch here. This is the pudendal nerve. This is pudendal nerve. This is the pelvic nerve from the vesical plexus. So you are seeing here from the vesical plexus one neuron is supplying the detrusor muscle other pelvic nerve is supplying the internal sphincter. So, please remember two sphincters. This is internal and external. Okay. Right. So, external will be supplied by this pudendal. Okay. Let us see with uh, parasympathetic. Okay. So, parasympathetic coming from T11 to L2. Remember this T11 to L2. They will drain into the hypogastric plexus. So here vesical plexus, here just add one term, hypogastric. Enough. From this two neurons, one is supplying detrusor, another is supplying the internal sphincter. Okay. So this is regarding the nerve supply of the urinary bladder. Right. Let us see a simple flow chart regarding the micturition reflex. So what is happening? First, the filling of the urinary bladder. That means in this stage, let us assume that pressure and volume is zero. Generally, it does not happen, but these are ideal conditions. Now, the urine starts coming into the bladder. That is what it is. Then the stimulation of stretch receptors. So, that space is made for the urine to get filled. Afferent impulses via pelvic nerve. Okay. So there will be afferent impulses via the pelvic nerve from the sacral segment you are seeing. See now pelvic nerve from the sacral segment right that is what he is telling. And then efferent impulse okay. So with the efferent impulse there is a contraction of the retrosor muscle and the relaxation of the internal sphincter. So efferent impulses you are seeing okay. Yeah, efferent impulses, the contraction of the detrusor and the relaxation of this internal sphincter. Okay. And the flow of urine into urethra and stimulation of stretch receptors. Okay. So here it goes into urethra. This you are seeing this tube. It goes up to the urethra. And their stretch receptors will be activated. Again, afferent impulses via the pelvic nerve, there is an inhibition of pudendal nerve. So, there will be afferent impulses via pelvic nerve, I told you. This will inhibit this pudendal nerve, you are seeing in black. Okay, then the relaxation of the external sphincter. Now, so, what is happening? This external sphincter is getting relaxed. You are seeing that. And then there is a micturition that is the release of urine. So, I will repeat stepwise the process again. So, the filling of urinary bladder, then stimulation of stretch receptors, afferent impulses via pelvic nerve, Activation of sacral segments, then efferent impulses via pelvic nerve, contraction of the detrusor muscle and the relaxation of internal sphincter, then the urine flows into the urethra activating the stretch receptors, then afferent impulses via the pelvic nerve, then inhibition of pudendal nerve, relaxation of the sphincter and the voiding of urine or simply micturition. Okay. Let's see the applied aspect now. We have atonic bladder, automatic bladder, hyperactive bladder and nocturnal micturition. First, atonic bladder. 
atonic loss of muscle tone what is the muscle detrusor so if the muscle tone is there what happens i mean if detrusor loses its tone what will happen then the stretch signals will not be activated right that will inactivate the sacral segments there is a dripping of the urine there is a leakage yeah like for example if our tap in our house is leaking we call the plumber right tap leakage means drops will keep flowing so we call the plumber he will repair that leakage like that it's like a leaking tap you can remember it as a leaking tap urine dripping is that's what it is caused by lesion of sacral segments that's what from there only the stretch signals come and lesions of spinal cord possibly that is uh, involved in the tabes dorsalis okay and also it may be called tabetic bladder okay and automatic bladder here hyperactive micturition reflex this leads to overflow incontinence hyperactive bladder now so there is a uncontrolled micturition possibly due to mid brain lesion okay and lastly the nocturnal micturition nocturnal please remember nocturnal means night time bed wetting in the night time very common in small children who are who are in the infant stage it's very common to see bed wetting in them because that time they have unmyelinated neurons which are supplying the bladder as they grow in age okay those neurons will be myelinated so it will convert into myelinated neurons even if it happens above 3 years of age it's considered abnormal there is some problem okay so references from where i took the images that brings us to end of the video so thank you so much i'll see you in the next video